Okay, so we move on to the final one now. Um, this is really um, a quite important uh, vodcast or presentation, whichever you're viewing it on, um, because this question has come up in January last year and it came up in June last year. So if you look at it in terms of, um, of the exam, it looks like this is uh, one that's a favourite. It does make itself a, um, favourable to a long answer question. However, it has come up as part of a question as well. But in each one, you need to be able to discuss what you're talking about in terms of um, privacy, confidentiality and legislation. And really, the privacy and confidentiality is the bit that's come up in the questions. Okay, so you need to start thinking about data that's stored on computers. You're not talking about um, things that you create. You're not talking about really about like your own work within school or thinking about things like that. You're talking about data that's stored on people. Think of what's stored in the main office in the school that you work up or by the passport um, office or think of employee data if you own a company. So you're talking about if you're using technology to do this, which that's that's ubiquitous now, it's everywhere. Um, it's very it's very rare that you actually have um, paper files on people. It really is um, everywhere that we see that data is stored on computer and it's really about how you access that data and how you communicate that data. So when we look at that um, topic we're really looking at what are the effects of holding data in this way. Um, the positives, these are the positives that are given. Now I've taken these from an answer to uh, on an exam paper not from the actual um, notes that you were given because I think they uh, allow for this way of bulleting it like this and the way of giving a balanced view of the positives and negatives so it's worth having a look at them I'm not going to read them out now because there's no point you can read them yourself from the screen um, if you look at the positives on one side and the negatives on the other again you can give that balanced argument please do not immediately go into hacking mode which people tend to do whenever you talk about data oh it can be hacked that's a big negative um, you've really got to talk about um, hacking in context of which it does there it's the fact that it can be hacked remotely because you can hack paper records as well it's always that thing of well, what is the effects of holding data on a computer system specifically and if you look at the um, uh, the positives and negatives there it's really about that aspect of the fact that it's on a computer what does that bring to um, the holding of data And then if you look at um, how you can protect um, against any sort of access to that data from people that you don't want access in it. And really there are, there are things there that you should be looking at. Of course there are many others. They're not in those syllabus course text but they have come up in a question. So it's worth having a look at those things and knowing those definitions as well that are put down there. You may find a better definition than that but I think that they're, they're, they're good enough for passwords, firewalls and encryption. So you're really talking about how you're going to stop people getting into your data or getting to your data that you don't want to get to your data. So if we go on now to the legislation bit, um, legislation, there are many different types of legislation, but what we're really concern, concerned with here is the Data Protection Act. And as I stated there, it really is about data on you, not data that you've somehow created it's the data about particular people so there are many rules many more rules than what's given there but they're really the ones that are the most commonly used and you're very rarely going to be asked a question where you're asked where you're um, made to list them all and if you can remember them five I can still remember them five from um, having taught this over and over again and from my degree so I think that's worth um, just remembering five of them or if you can remember four out of five of them um, and um, I'll go through an explanation of any of them in the lesson that you don't understand but accurate, up to date, relevant, not kept longer than necessary, secure easy to remember really 